Mirroring elements using the mirror pick axis tool. We can make a replica and it will be uh, basically uh, a, a mirrored image of itself. And we can use this tool if we have an axis, a line or a wall to pick. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to modify and we're going to select the items we want to mirror. I'm going to mirror this whole office. Once I have that, uh, now I can go up and I can go up here to the my mirror pick axis. And so I'm going to pick on that tool and it's going to ask me for the axis of reflection. So I want to, I can't pick out an error. I have to pick out something. So I, I picked that and there, see how it generated that? And so I want to come in and say, yeah, I want to mirror that. I'll pick right on that. And it's calculating and boom. It, uh, the walls overlapped. So uh, one of them was ignored and that's okay. That's exactly what we wanted, right? Um, oop. Where did it go? Hang on here. There we go. Sorry, my just scroll wheel doesn't work on this mach machine. But you can see I made a mirrored image of this. And so I can mirror this whole thing over one more time. And uh, if I have a line, let's say I draw a line, um, and I can do that, um, and I can come up and say modify, and I can select all of these items. And then uh, I can actually go in and and say, you know, I could have a line pre-drawn there, etc. Um, if I wanted to, or I could pick on this line on this edge of this uh, uh, wall again if I like to. So I'm going to do that again. I'm going to come up and to pick an axis. And right now it's finding the center line of that wall. And I'll say, okay, I'll go with that and it's overlapping I know that I'll say close I'll hit escape and boom I just mirrored another sets of those so uh, mirroring elements using the mirrored pick access tool